What's up everybody and welcome back to another exciting episode. In today's how-to video, we're gonna be showing you how you can install this beautiful 27 inch electric fireplace insert into a custom built wall unit. So we're gonna show you how you can transform this into that in just a matter of a weekend. So stick around and we'll be right back. Now, I'm not an expert by any means, but I was willing to give it a shot if it meant saving thousands of dollars and having to hire a professional to get the job done. Um, now, you are gonna need a few tools, albeit, but I would rather spend my money on tools that I can use on future projects than spending it maybe on labor. Um, so stick around, we're gonna show you what tools you're gonna need for this project. If you like what you're seeing, please remember to hit that subscribe button, give it a thumbs up, and we'll see you guys in just a little bit. Once you've identified where you want to build your wall unit, begin by removing the existing baseboard on the back wall. Here we use our oscillating saw uh, to make a straight cut into the baseboard on the side wall and slide our uh, IKEA unit in place. Now if you don't have an oscillating saw, you can always use a handheld flush saw uh, to make that same cut. So we decided to pick up uh, a couple of Billy bookcases from Ikea. Um, fairly inexpensive, I think it was about $200 tax included for the both of them. Um, and they were super easy to install. Next, measure the distance in between your two wall cabinets where the fireplace unit will rest. We've decided to space the units out 60 inches apart as this is a fairly standard dimension. Remember to score along the top of the baseboard using your utility blade to prevent the paint from peeling. Once removed, ensure there are no brads left behind and scrape where needed to remove any debris to ensure that you get a flush fit. Now it's time to build the base of our unit. Uh, here we're gonna build a two by four frame. Uh, so the first piece of wood that we're gonna cut is gonna be 60 inches wide. Um, I'm using a Ryobi miter saw here since I have one handy, but you can also make this cut using a circular saw, a hand saw, or simply just have your hardware store make the cuts for you. And then the cross sections are going to need to be 20 and a half inches in total. So we have to take into account the two two by fours. And uh, as a result, we're gonna cut these at 17 and a half inches.
Uh, now it's really important for your base to be level. Uh, I'm simply using some wood shims to uh, raise some parts of it so that I have a, a level surface. Using your stud finder, locate your wall studs and mark their location. To tie your base to your wall, drive your 3 inch construction screws through your 2x4 and directly into the studs. Try to catch as many studs as possible to ensure maximum stability. For the base, I'm using 3 quarter inch plywood. I could have gone with probably half inch plywood or something thinner, uh, but since I'm going to be tiling the face, I wanted to ensure it was going to be sturdy. Over here, to extend the, the hearth out, we had to add an additional 2x4 um, and also a sheet of plywood. This is actually going to allow us to put the tile in and make it flush. Well, this is where our tile goes. Now we have some good support. Um, now, of course, we before we install this, we're gonna lay down some uh, some concrete underlay. Once my plywood was fastened in place, I used my half inch trowel to spread a layer of pre-mixed mortar where my concrete backer board will sit. I know you hate doing it, but give it a quick vacuum, make sure there's no debris left behind. Now we decided to align the center of the tile with the center of the hearth, um, just to ensure symmetry. Uh, and then that way we would have to cut both tiles uh, on the end a few inches, uh, but we thought this would uh, be the best look. Then repeat the process of applying mortar and lay down your tiles. 
Now these tiles are 23 and a half inch wide and so to make them symmetric I decided to cut the two end pieces to size. Once you've laid your tiles, you can use some scrap plywood strips to frame the border uh, around the tiles to ensure that they sit straight. Um, leave them untouched for 24 hours to ensure all the mortar dries. Once dried, apply your grout in between the tiles using your float uh, and wipe off any access with a damp sponge. All right, so as you can see, things are starting to come along together. We got our Billy bookcases here, uh, two of them that are, I believe, 30 inches uh, wide. And then we're going to actually um, add an extension and mount them all the way up to the ceiling. Um, and then we have, of course, our fireplace unit here, which we are starting the process of uh, installing the molding. Uh, still trying to decide exactly how the mantle is going to look like, but we're just going to sort of play it by ear. And so I hope you're enjoying this video. Uh, there's a lot more to come.
guys think? You like it?